Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and I have a confession to make. Uh, little stamps such as one of the free celebration choices, a pretty petite stamp set that coordinates with the petite curly label punch, are not the easiest for me to use. Little stamps just aren't my favorite, but I was determined to come up with a cute project for you, and I have, so you want to come and watch and see what I've done. Okay, for this sweet little project, we are going to um, make a topper for the 1x8 cellophane bags in part with the Pretty Petite stamp set and the Coordinating um, Petite Curly Label Punch. And we're going to use this yum stamp from here because my project is oh so yummy. So what's going to be inside? Let me show you because I didn't know these existed. Did you know that Twizzlers made chocolate twist? Yum! <laughs> made with uh, real Hershey's chocolate. And I thought, I have got to try these. And as you can see <clears throat> from the empty package, I enjoyed them. <laughs> and so, so I said in part, so the other part will be with the Hearts of Flutter stamp set and the coordinating Hearts of Flutter framelits. So let me show you what we're going to do with that. I had the four hearts to choose from, but when I saw this one with the little hearts and I was thinking, hmm, Hershey Kisses. Okay, well I have some Hershey's chocolate. And so on pink pirouette cardstock with Early Espresso Classic Ink, I stamped that. And, uh, and it coordinates perfectly with the, with the chocolate twist. And then I have the coordinating framelit around there with a little bit of uh, painter's tape. So when I put that through the big shot. And then for my topper, I took the, this framelit and it is on a folded piece of early espresso cardstock. It's just off the edge ever so slightly so it'll cut it in one piece and some more painter's tape. And so I can run both of those through my big shot at the same time. And, and have those. So let's move to the next part. While I really like the early espresso stamped on the pink pirouette, I wanted my yum to stand out more and so to do that I'm going to stamp that on Whisper White cardstock. So the early espresso um, stamp pad, you push here, clip, and then it locks into place. And so we're going to ink this all up. And stamp. I'm going to hold it down a little bit extra long because I want that to be nice and deep, that early espresso. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and then we have our curly, uh, petite curly label punch. And we're going to punch that upside down. And I just love that we can do this, that we can stamp first and then punch. Just like we now can with the framelits dies that we can stamp and then frame them, you know, die cut them perfectly. So much easier than trying to stamp on. Can you imagine trying to stamp that little stamp on if I had just punched this out and then tried to stamp and then tried to hit that? That'd be interesting, huh? <laughs> Let's just give it a try. Oh, I'm going to try. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's about as good as I thought it would be. Much better <laughs> that we can um, punch first. So, even though this is on white, I still wanted some of the pink pirouettes. So, I'm going to take my many marvelous markers and get my pink pirouette Stampin' Right marker out of here. Love having all these together. You have room in here for all of the 38 core colors and then the 10 um, end colors, the current end colors. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the brush end of our pink pirouette marker and we're going to color in this border. So now it's going to look layered without having to layer it and just oh so coordinated. I know that was a good idea huh? Ah, uh, thank you for saying so. <laughs> okay and, so, and that's it and we have that pretty. So let me show you the finished project. So here I have the chocolate twist and see this is folded over that we cut and it made it one nice long piece with that fold and our die cut hard and I used the paper piercing tool just to poke a little hole in the center and tied it on with early espresso mm -hmm. baker's twine so also oh coordinated so easy just so stinking cute isn't it and so this would be great that um, it says yum instead of love so what a cute little valentine for just about anybody <laughs> and uh, and so 
the stamp set, like I said, I was just bound determined to do stuff with it because I think it is adorable. And so I have come up with a card that I really like too. But it is for my 10 weeks of celebration. And what is that? The 10 weeks of celebration, the Stamping Smiles 10 weeks of celebration, are exclusive emails for my mailing list subscribers only. Uh, this will be week four, so they've already gotten three, uh, three exclusive celebration projects that I won't post anywhere else. I won't be posting on my, on my stamping blog or on Facebook. I won't be showing them anywhere else. So the only way to get those is to be on my mailing list. So you need to go and join my mailing list now. You can do that with um, the clickable link under the video or go to stampingsmiles.com in the upper left corner you will find a sign up box to join my mailing list and then every month you will get my Stamping Smiles newsletters with um, three exclusive articles with stamping tips, techniques and or tutorials as well as my specials and then of course when things like this come up my 10 weeks of celebration these bonus um, emails with exclusive projects and step-by-step -step directions. So I hope you'll join my mailing list so you can see what else I did with the free Pretty Pretty um, stamp set, free with purchase stamp set, and the coordinating punch. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.